what's up beautiful people listening to Arma, welcome to the channel today we have this very interesting video and it's about ben shapiro and candace owens's conflict and everything so yeah and it's i'm excited to check this one out and this is titled ben shapiro tells candace to quit after she tweeted the bible verse civil war at daily wire also i'm excited to check someone else here what they got to say on this one let's check it out oh i don't want to play with you anymore what's up guys it's your boy benny ben shapiro is publicly firing candace owens candace owens is saying that she may bring a lawsuit against ben shapiro my God, there is a massive meltdown and it all started over a Bible verse. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, let us look to the scriptures for wisdom right now. Proverbs. Proverbs 17 states, he who covers transgression seeks love, but he who repeats a matter in public separates intimate friends or, dare I say, employees. This all started with Ben Shapiro spouting off on Candace saying this about somebody who he works with and somebody who he employs. Uh, the, the question is about Candace Owens. I think her behavior during this is disgraceful. Disgraceful? Uh, Candace is disgraceful, disgraceful he says. Her faux sophistication on these particular issues has been ridiculous. It's not faux sophistication, it's hmm. ridiculous. Everybody can see the moves that she's making and the things that she's saying, and I find them disreputable. Uh, so he's saying that his own employee and his co-worker, somebody who he's in business with, is disgraceful, disreputable, and has faux sophistication. Now, this was responded to by Candace Owens with this tweet that you see on screen here. This is Candace Owens quoting the scriptures, quoting Christ, saying, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for righteousness' sake. For there is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men revile you, persecute you, say all manner of evil against you, falsely for my sake. No one can serve two masters. Either you hate one and love the other, or you're devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. Christ is king, Candace says. So this was Candace's only response, other than saying she's going to do an interview with Tucker Carlson, which I have to assume was pre-recorded. So this was her only response to Ben Shapiro publicly flaming her uh, at what wow. seems to be Ben Shapiro standing on a dinner uh, at, a at a table at a dinner party somewhere, right? Which again, I said in another video, not a great look for an employer. Not a good mm -hmm. look. It's best to handle these things in private. It's best mm -hmm. to not do these things on TikTok or Twitter. But holy Moses, did we get a response? But this right here is something that I don't understand how uh, people are, are publicly shaming one another for saying some certain thing or something. But all the same, what I want to know is, uh, from your own perspective, what would you do if your friend or a colleague publicly embarrasses you or says something or shame you for something that um, you've done that you were, that was supposed to be settled or spoke about in private? Let's say you have a particular colleague and your po colleague shames you on something publicly on national TV. What would you be your reaction? Or you have a friend that embarrasses you or shames you publicly on national TV rather than talking to you in private about the stuff. What would be your reaction? Because I would really love to know um, how other people would react when faced in situations like this. But yeah, let's go on. Did we get a response? 24 hours later, Ben Shapiro says, Candace, if you feel like taking money from the Daily Wire somehow comes between you and God, by all means, quit. Which is a crazy thing to say because she's mm. quoting scripture. She's quoting the New Testament. I mean, I can see this. I can see how you would assume this is a slight. And, I, you know, I, I know Ben Shapiro's faith. It, he doesn't acknowledge the New Testament, right? Like, that, that, that's how it works, right? Old Testament, New Testament, right? Christian, Jew, you know, wh whatever. But, hmm. bro, like, she's just quoting scripture. And then Candace comes over the top and says, now you have been acting unprofessional, emotionally unhinged for weeks, and we've all had to sit back and allow it and have all tried to exercise exceeding understanding for your raw emotion. But you have crossed the line when you come for scripture and read yourself into it. I will not tolerate, hmm. Candace says. Whew, baby. Wow. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's on, right? I mean, check out the comment section. Tell them, 
right? Like, like people are people are straight up saying, like, glad you're posting Bible verses. Check out some of the responses here to this tweet. Uh, crazy. We're going to follow Candace. Uh, can she? Does she have a non-compete or some other wacky contract thing? Like you offered Crowder. Can she quit? Uh, is one, one uh, t- Tim Ka- Katan- Cassandra Tim Cassang? Uh, this. Oh, I'm not gonna read that one. Ben Shapiro got triggered by Candace Owens quoting the Bible. Thank you, Ben. She disgraced the company you worked to build. Matt Clor- Moral Clarity. It's annoying and delusional hmm. as always. Should have been fired decades ago. People popping popcorn. Rude. Too expensive to fire her. Would require paying out all or some of her contract. Chill out, man. You've been wrong about most about everything. You're trying to cancel her, Ben. Uh oh. Crisis King. Ben hmm. will find out. Jesus Christ is Lord. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of people pop 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 popcorn. Okay. So yikes. I mean yikes. Utterly out of line, Candace says, for suggesting that I cannot quote biblical scripture. The Bible is not about you. Who baby? And then Candace says, Christ is king. One more thing one more time, and then people saying, Start your own thing. You're bigger than the whole Shapiro brand. Uh wow. Okay. Popcorn, popcorn, popcorn. Go off. So, I mean, listen, you got to just deal in harsh realities here, which is that uh, Christians believe in the New Testament and Christians uh, believe that every word spoken by Christ, like that is that is what we believe, and that this is holy, mm-hmm. and that Christ is the Son of God, and that you should be allowed to quote yes. Christ, right? Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. You should be allowed to, to quote that. Now, Ben Shapiro believes differently. Mm-hmm. That, that's his prerogative, right? Right? So, that's fine. My God. I didn't even know that all of this happened, the tweets back and forth. Wow. Oh, my God. This honestly don't make sense. And I must say that the world don't need more any more conflict than what we've got right now. We are even trying to see how things will be peaceful and people would move on fine and settle in peace. And this right here is happening. <sighs> I don't know what to say, but yeah, let's go on. Fine, but don't come at people's faith. Mm-hmm. Th- this is crazy to do that. Holy smokes, man. Like, it, it hmm. ju- ju- it's just, like, I, I think not the great look. I, I said this yesterday. It's like really, really not a great look. Now, they disagreed hmm. before, okay? So th- this is, you know, Ben Shapiro says that he radically disagrees with uh, Candace Owens on, on Kanye West, right? Candace Owens and Kanye West mm. are, uh, as far as I know, still close friends. Kanye West was at a uh, a movie premiere of Candace Owens' documentary with Daily Wire. So he's Kanye West with Daily Wire branding, okay? And these boots. But Ben Shapiro went uh, in public and, and, and said one of the features, not the bugs of the Daily Wire, is that we openly disagree on the stuff we battle it out. Hmm. But I gotta tell you, man, I've been playing, you know, I've been playing in this game for a while, I know Candace really well, right? I, I really like her and George. And I know I've worked professionally with Ben. And I got to say, oh. I don't like the way that this is being handled. Like, at all. Yeah. Okay? I, I don't like the way that it's being handled. Now, Candace has been ratcheting up what you would assume, what you could call, like, America first, really, like, mainline America first policies. Okay? Non-interventionism. Mm. Things that I ascribe to that I think is, like, really roundly approved of in the Republican Party. Non-interventionism, mm. not getting caught up in foreign wars, straight up like George Washington leaving office, mm-hmm. last speech as president kind of stuff, right? Like, yeah. don't get involved in foreign wars, don't let these other nations drag you down and protect mm-hmm. our country, right? And Candace has been calling out people who aren't about that, you know? Like, it, this clip from Nikki Haley went pretty vile, viral. I am here today to endorse Nikki Haley for president of Israel. I think she's earned that. I think Bibi Netanyahu is going through a very bad time right now. Support for Israel has virtually collapsed socially. If you're paying attention to the trends and you're paying attention to what people are watching, you're paying attention to the protests. And the one person that I think is capable of getting it back is Nikki Haley with enough money. Oh, wait, is this the video that caused or originated the conflict between Candace Owens and Ben Shapiro. I, I mean, I don't 
have an idea or l i just want to know to get the full context of it and the likes and all because i think i've seen a bit of this clip flying around on social media on the internet and the, and everything but i would love to know but yeah let's go on enough money from foreign interest lobbies so there it is guys i'm endorsing nikki haley president of israel i mean listen that, uh, obviously mm. that's gonna that's gonna ruffle some feathers right inside of the daily wire Serious question. This is from a year ago. Jeremy Boring, co-founder of The Daily Wire. Um, do you agree with Candace's defense of Kanye? Well, I disagree with a lot of it. Why did The Daily Wire allow her to say it? We, we aren't in the business of telling people what to say. Do they still believe that is the question, right? It's a weird irony that people calling Jews control the world a racist trope are also keeping demanding that Ben Shapiro do something to control me. They are mad for disproving the notion, Candace says, effectively defending Ben Shapiro a year ago when there was a Kanye West kerfuffle, right? Kanye West said a lot of stuff mm. that uh, a lot of people disagree with. And Candace Owens is friends with Kanye West, uh, put up a defense of some of the stuff that he said, right? And, and then and then the Daily Wire mm. is like, free speech! She's allowed to do, you know, Candace, you do you. And Candace did her. And everything moved along until now this, right? Now you get wow. I mean, this is totally different. This is totally this is totally different hmm. right here, dude. Saying quit, quit your job. Ben Shapiro saying quit the Daily Wire. Yo, bro. I don't know, man. I, like hmm. I'll, I'll continue to say. I'll continue to call balls and strikes. I don't think this is a good look. I don't think it's a good look. I think that it's unprofessional. I think there are degrees yeah. of being unprofessional. You know, quite mm -hmm. frankly, like there's degrees of being unprofessional on all sides, but like, do you have to ha handle this stuff on Twitter? Like, co like, aren't you coworkers? The number of people in this business that I have called that I might have had beef with or problems with, it's not a lot actually. I get along with virtually everyone, <laughs> but you're gonna bo be bound to like disagree with people at times, okay? Yeah, it's but, true. Yo, like, especially when someone's quoting a Bible verse or like, speaking out about their faith which i do all the time and i'm not ashamed of people can have different agree, different agree diff, people can have different beliefs obviously thank you i'm not yes. gonna assault their beliefs i'm not going to like insult what they believe right i don't view that as my job it's this is what i've been saying and lots of people don't understand and don't get this thing you are now we are humans and um we have our thoughts and opinions for a reason you're not the point is you're not meant to agree with everything that this person have said you're also meant to have your own thoughts of opinion you can say okay this is where i am and this is what i believe in and you, the other person will say oh this is who i where i am this is what i believe in the both of you might not agree on something or might not believe the exact same thing you can agree to disagree but still come on a common ground to share your opinion without you forcing your opinion or your beliefs on this other person or forcing this other person forcing your his, his thoughts and beliefs on you as well we're human so we always should learn to respect each other's thoughts beliefs and opinion regardless of the fact that the both of you are not don't agree on the exact same thing or the exact same notion but this person in his own point of view this person might be right and you from your own point of view you might be right it's not a one size fits all and people should come on that ground to understand that Whew. it's not that hard but yeah let's go on view that as my job it's my job to speak about my faith my lord and savior yeah, but exactly. i have every damn yes. right to do that and i have every damn right to quote scripture and to quote mm -hmm. christ so i think this is a terrible look yeah i wish people would handle this it would read the proverb and handle it in private but now this is blown out blown out of proportion now it's like mm. this thing is you know the headlines are daily wire civil war ben shapiro blast disgraceful so faux sophistication of candace owens and i you know i'm yeah. sure there's going to be a million more headlines now yeah tim pool is saying hey cassandra can we have a fake beef over israel to generate press attention <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> oh boy. What? I would absolutely tune in to uh Ben Shapiro versus Candace Owens debate. Can we have that? Can that be the can that be the thing that heals us all? Maybe we have a debate. Maybe have a just debate a debate about it. Don't you like you work at the Daily Wire? Lots of cameras. Th turn them on, have a debate. Let the people see both sides, right? 
-hmm. Maybe some people will be convinced mm -hmm. one way or the other. Exactly. But ultimately, exactly. I don't like, you know, I just, I, I don't, I yes, don't like look. fight the infighting. And I don't like it being done on Twitter. And I think there are cleaner, there are obviously mm -hmm. cleaner ways to do this kind of stuff. Uh, even if you do disagree. And yeah. even if Candace does leave the Daily Wire. But hey, I guess we'll see. Ben Shapiro telling Candace Owens to quit. Candace Owens saying, uh, yo, I'm not going to tolerate this. I just quoted scripture, which she did. Where are we at now? Baby. Hmm. Wasn't counting on this in my bingo card, but here we are. We'll keep covering it. We'll try and stay friends with everyone, right? Not trying to flame anyone. Calling balls and strikes. Exactly. Boy, Benny. Like, share, and subscribe. We'll keep you posted. See ya. Oh my goodness, exactly. Keep staying friends with everyone. Don't pick a side. Don't choose a side because in their own point of view, they are right. And also, I, that is how I say it. I, I mean, I'm not going to pick sides to say, oh, this person is right on this side or this person is right on this side. I respect both of them. And uh, on Candice's own point of view or Candice's own side, she's right. On Ben's own side, he is right. And that is how I view things. I always view things with the point where um i don't ha you don't have to force your belief and your thoughts on one other person or other person you you have your belief you have your thoughts and um you should also re respect other people's beliefs and thoughts regardless of the fact that they they don't agree with what you believe in and it shouldn't be forced or imposed on another person that is where there would be a problem but yeah um this is interesting but um, i also love to m have more context to know what originated or what started this conflict and the likes and all and i would love to ha see both of them have a debate to hear from both sides just like what ben benny have said here and yeah most more than likely i i think most people or many people would be expecting that or that kind of debate but, oh my goodness i didn't know prior to this ben shapiro and candace owens have had the conflict and the likes and all or a disagreement and the likes and all but it's interesting to know and to hear that something like this has happened in the past but all the same i'm still for peace and for them to have an honest debate but yeah i really love your thoughts and your contribution to this what are your thoughts about this so far you can share all the useful information you think might be really helpful make sure to like comment and subscribe and all of that good stuff and until next time see you in the next video